So, UFC on Fuel TV 3, which is uh, it's coming Tuesday. Yes, a Tuesday. Come What's up? up with that? Yeah, that's kind of weird. I mean, they I mean, did that before on a Tuesday. Did they? Yeah, like I thought Thursday. it was always like Thursdays at least. Uh, I've seen some Tuesday fights. Yeah. I looked at getting tickets to this one too because it was in Virginia. That's a, that's a jack so everything up over there. Problem that's is, pretty, though, pretty long drive. Honestly. I'm sure they're going to plan on flying. But and I'm yeah. sure they're going to be fun fights. But I don't Fucking know if I'd want to drive all the way or fly there to see these fights. Like we were saying earlier, none of these fights really. I like Donald Cerrone. But I mean, he's not even the headliner. In it is free fights, though. I mean, you can't really complain about free fights. I'm sure they're going to be good a lot fights. of people don't have fuel, I guess. A lot of the more under, you know, the cards that aren't as known, aren't known as good, are the better fights. I would say they usually turn out to be great fights. You don't think they are? I like the main car- main event. I like the main event. I do too. I like the Korean Zombie. He's awesome. I like him as well. I think it's uh, all three. Even when he time. loses, he's awesome. You know, <laughs> and he's cool. I like him. Which and I then, think he's going to do. Really. I wow. think so. Not me. I'm you picking. Got year? I'm not picking year. against the Korean zombie. I won't I'm either. Not gonna do it. Oh man, and Poirier's tough and sharp. Who'd Poirier fight in his last fight? Remember? Nope. Nobody big. I think it was a, one of the well, first you, UFC fight anyway. I don't think. But I mean, that, I mean, he's gonna have to win by decision I mean, or submission because he ain't gonna knock him out. He ain't gonna get a TKO. Kind of also that about uh, Chi Mills the last time, and he looked good until he got beat up last time. The same thing about Yagen. No one knew who he really, really was, and he looked good. So Poirier's tough. I got Poirier. I'm taking the Korean Zombie. I got the Korean Chen Zombie. Chen Sung Young. <laughs> I think I'm saying that right. I'm just saying the Korean Zombie. Yeah. I'm going to stick with that because Chen Sung Young's not. It might be Chen Sung right. Jung. You know? Probably, he knocked the fuck out of Hominic in what, 12 seconds or yeah. something? Yeah. It was a clip, too. It was a hard shot. He's good on the ground, too, though. You know, He's I mean, had some great fights in general. He's had some good fights. He's, He's going to get beat up. One. I think we'll he see. wins. Uh, well, I probably won't see because I don't have Fuel TV. and I, um, I'm going to say he wins by decision. Probably decision, too. Well, Poirier, of course. I don't have a pick. Good submit him. I don't have a pick on how it's going to I don't think he's going to get submitted or knocked out. Or Is that going to be a five-round fight? Uh, it should be. Where is it at, Virginia? Yeah, well, it should be. I would say no decision then. I'm going to have to go with, uh... Those guys can go forever. I mean... I know the Korean zombie can. I'm not too sure about the other guy. I just don't know enough about him to say. Yeah. I don't really know Jorge Lopez. I don't either, but I'm not a fan of you know, Samir Sadala. So now I'm that you mentioned that it's a five-round fight, I'm going to go ahead and say the Korean zombie wins by submission then. Submission? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. (laughs) He says next question. We'll see about that. (laughs) I'm going to take Amir Sadala. I'm going to take Jorge Lopez. Jorge Lopez is uh, the favorite, actually. Yeah. I'm going to take uh, Jorge. 11 and 2. I know that much. I'm going to take Jorge Lopez because Amir Sadala, his record is not so hot in the UFC, and he might be one of the worst uh, Ultimate Fighter winners as well as. who was it? We were, Ed Herman we were mentioning last time. Yeah. Yeah, he's, we'll be talking about him here. I looked up this no, Jorge Lopez. Uh, noticed that he TKO'd a guy by way of retirement. Wow. How does that happen? I'm going to be bringing up something kind of like that here later How on. How does that happen? What the hell does that mean? You got me. Does that mean he retired after he got TKO'd? It said round two, TKO round two, five at five minutes. So dead at the end of the round. So that means he didn't he didn't come after the bell. That means Nor- he didn't normally it would say submission, knockout, TKO. Maybe he retired after the round. That means he didn't. Um, he didn't come out for round three. He was like, "No, yeah, I'm done." Threw him in the towel and said, "And I then quit. he retired. So I quit forever." <laughs> He's like, so I'm you got to watch out. I mean, he did beat somebody into retirement. Basically. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I want to make you quit the sport. That's why I'm picking him. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. I'm picking him as well. The guy's name was David Marshall. I couldn't and, find um, out anything about him. I'm picking but. him, um, even though I don't know a lot about Jorge Lopez. I'm going to pick him by knockout because Amir Sadala gets knocked out. So I don't like Amir Sadala. I'll <laughs> I think agree he's knockout. a smart guy. I think he trains a lot and good. And he's think, uh, He's got good technical striking, but uh, he just can't take the best shots from people. No, he's so. he's going down. Maybe he'll, His go, Muay Thai uh, maybe is he'll good. get knocked into retirement. You never, <laughs> you never know. Another retirement fight. Well, I'm going to take him anyway. Well, I'm going to. Cerrone and Stevens should uh, yeah. should be a fantastic fight. I, I love Cerrone. Probably I do. I like, I like love all of his fights. He's, a, he's an exciting fighter. 
He's tough. He always fights. He Cerrone's doesn't. the favorite. Even though he got beat up by... Um, who did he lose to? He, he lost to just Nate recently. Diaz. Nate Diaz. Yeah, he got beat pretty hardcore by Nate Diaz. Yeah, but Diaz that was still an awesome fight to watch. But like, he was looking strong before that. Looking real good. Yeah, he'd won like five fights in a row or something, didn't he? Yeah, yeah he was tough. Yeah. But, and, I mean, uh, you run into Nate Diaz, and that's what, kind of what happens to a lot of people. Yeah, Nate Diaz is is going for the title. So, okay. <laughs> you know, right. I mean, there you go. That being said, I'm going to take Jeremy Stevens. I'm taking Cerrone. Is my underdog pick Cerrone oh. by Cerrone by TKO. TKO. Yeah. So these are all going on our official records. I'm fine with that. I'm fine. Let's keep them all. All right. What do you got? Uh, I got Cerrone. Cerrone. Nobody likes my picks. Uh, it seems that way, huh? That's two underdogs I'm taking too, though for sure. So Stevens is a big, uh, big underdog I like in that Stevens, fight, but, but he's I just... fucking tough. Uh, he's lost a bunch of fights, but to who? You know, some tough guys and shit. I'm he not fought, sure uh, who, but I know he's Anthony tough. Pettis and Melvin Gillard to split decisions. Melvin Gillard. Yeah. Yeah. He's been a disappointment to the both of us. He eats healthy. Yeah, that's, that's always tough. a plus. Yeah. He works real hard. He's uh, Bro, bringing up topics. You know what? Torres in the last card, it was the mullet, remember? You brought up the mullet you on the last say, t- podcast. Um, it yeah. would depend on the size of the mullet, and he came out without a mullet. And what yeah. happened? Got his ass whipped. Yeah, you should. Just a little it's off the, topic. It, it's the Samson effect. You know, when you have long hair and you have that kind of power, you don't get rid of it. You don't fuck right. with it, man. You don't screw with the power of the mullet, and he did yeah. it. And what about this? Himself. What is this? Jeff? Jeff what? Hoagland and Yves Yobin? Yves Wabin, I think. Yobin? I don't yeah, know. I think that's how it said. You, Eve or something? I've never Eve heard of either Yabine. of the two. I'm gonna be straight honest with I think you. The one so. guy's Canadian, maybe. Eve Le- Le- or fights out of Canada. I've heard of them both, actually. Well, I'm almost positive it's pronounced Eve Le- Yabi- Labine or how you said it Yabine. the first time. Yabine. I can't say it. I'm not French. You, you said it right the first time. I'm though. going with Hoagland just because. Yeah, like I'm to say going to. I looked the guy up. He's on a huge streak. Looks like a. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu guy. Probably get a uh, submission. I'm picking... This is his first fight in the UFC, though. I'm picking Hoagland as well. Somebody likes my picks, finally, everybody. <laughs> now, I can't root for anybody named Fabio. In this Fabio. Next one, so, yeah, I'm Fabio just going Maldonado with Igor. Maldonado and Igor... Was it Por- Poryak? I'm not going to pronounce Poryak. that. Yeah, I mean, this sounds kind of tough. So he's a Croatian, a probably. I yeah. think he... Uh, you know you're tough when you come from Croatia. I mean, you got to be tough. I'm actually going to pick Fabio. I'm Maldonado. taking Fabio, too. Well, no one likes my picks. Kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we should probably go with your picks since, you know, yeah, you did Fabio's so well. He's the champion. Yeah. Right? He's the champion. We should just wait for you to pick and then go with yours. Tom next, Waller, next Jason McDonald. Next the other way around. Um, yeah, we'll let you pick this one we'll first. We'll go with Jason McDonald. <laughs> I'm going to go with Jason McDonald myself. I am, too, even though... I have my who's doubts the, sometimes. Who's the tough. favor in that fight? Probably McDonald. I don't know. You don't know. I don't. They probably don't even add odds on it. What? Probably not. Tom Lawler's. Doesn't run fuel. What's his nickname? It, I got I it in the on the tip of my tongue. Was it Dirty Tom Lawler or something like that? Dirty Tom Lawler. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> like something like that. I would love that. Filthy Tom Lawler. I, I might, like that. I might, if that's his nickname, I'm changing my pick. Well, I'm picking Tom Lawyer, Lawler because I think his nickname's kind of funny. No, I'm not. That's not why I'm picking him. But I'm pretty sure his nickname's kind of funny, like Dirty Tom Lawler or something like that. Yeah, I'm picking him. I'm as deep as a rain puddle. I'm shallow, so I'll, I'll switch my pick. Because <laughs> You're going to take Dirty Tom Lawler? If his, if if that's his, his nickname. If his so name's not Dirty Tom Lawler. Filthy Tom Lawler. Is it Filthy, filthy Tom, Tom Lawler? Filthy. Uh, uh, there's no, I like Dirty. I like to get a little His dirty. name's Filthy Tom Lawler for real? Yes, it is. Uh, I knew I was close. I'm still picking Filthy Tom Lawler. I like a little dirt in my sandwich, and there ain't no dirt, so...